Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Redbit Design. My name is Hazel and today I'm going to be talking about some fish that I recommend for 10 gallon tanks. 10 gallon tanks are like the perfect size for a beginner fish keeper. They're not too big so you're not overcommitted, and they're also big enough that it's you have to do work but they're not too much. Everyone has a different tank size that they think is best for beginners. I personally would recommend a 10 or a 20 but some people think that 50 is better and even bigger because uh, the more water that you have the more stable your water conditions are going to be especially and the chances of overstocking are reduced. But I understand that fish keeping is an expensive hobby and I think that 10 gallons to 20 are a great beginner size. I personally wouldn't recommend 5 gallons and below to a beginner because I don't know if you really have an accurate gauge of what can live in a 5 gallon tank at your very first, with your very first like aquarium, you know? So I don't think that it's the best idea for a beginner to get a 5 just as the water conditions are very... Uh, it's harder to spread out water conditions, like if you did your nitrogen cycle incorrectly, it's harder for you to be able to accurately make sure that that's not affecting any of your fish, if you have ammonia or nitrate. So today I'm going to be going through a few different species of fish that I think could go really well for you. Again, this is all personal preference, but I love all of these species, and they're just phenomenal fish, and I think you will enjoy them a ton. My first suggestion, as always, is the betta. They're such beautiful, stunning fish. They do really well in 10 gallons. They get, like, <laughs> they love it. They get so much space. Those are so uh, cool. Please keep in mind that they need heaters and filters as well. So they are a tropical species, and you need to keep that in mind when you are owning one. If you don't keep this in mind, your betta will live a lackluster life with you, and it will not be thriving. It will not be having a good time with you. So please make sure that you accurately take care of your fish and do the proper research. I have a betta fish care guide on my website, which I will link, and I also have a YouTube video of it. Another fish that I would recommend are guppies and endlers. Um, these are both live-bearing species, and they are quite small, which is why I think they do really well in a 10-gallon aquarium. I personally have had guppies and endlers in 10 gallons, and they do great. They can get quite out of control with breeding since they're live-bearers and breed like about every month or so, anywhere from like 3 to 15 babies I've seen. So please keep in mind that if you do get these species, you will need to be constantly selling them or trading them out to your local fish store or something. Nextly, I would recommend Ember Tetras. I personally have Ember Tetras. I love them so much. They are so beautiful. I love the orange colors. They really complement any sort of tank. I would recommend these simply because they're just really unique, personable schooling fish. They get about 0.5 inches, and this is good because it's a little bit smaller than others like Neon Tetras, which I personally would not recommend for a 10 gallon tank. Neon Tetras are a lot more active than Ember Tetras. I've seen people recommend Ember uh, Neons for like 5 gallons and stuff. I would not go for that. I think that's kind of unethical. They're very active species, and I think they would do best in a 20 gallon. But Ember Tetras are a bit more cool. They're a little bit more chill. They don't move as much. They don't, they don't entirely require the same amount of space. So again, it's all up to your personal preference, but I don't think that they entirely need... 20 gallons, I think Ember Tetris could do great in a 10, and while I do have my Embers in a 20 currently, I think that they were doing just as well in a 10 gallon. Another fish I would like to recommend are Celestial Pearl Danios. I think they could do well in a 10 or a 20. Um, Danios are very active fish, so 20 might even be better for them, but 10 gallons could work. Again, this is all your personal preference, and <laughs> I think that they could do fantastic. They're a bit of cooler water species, but they're so unique. I love their beautiful colors. They can be a little bit sensitive. I had some issues with some when I owned them before, but they're still really, really good, and I think that they could go well. If you are a beginner fish keeper willing to do more hot, more work and more research, I think that they could go fantastic for you. Also, I think another fantastic tank would be a shrimp and snail tank. This fish, this tank might not have any fish, but I think that the, when you have just shrimp and snails, the tank is so personable. They don't take away from the plants, and it's just so beautiful all of the time. And if that's something that's interesting to you, I think you should just go for it. Um, snails and shrimp definitely require some research, especially if you've never had any experience with them. But I would highly recommend them to, like, almost everyone. I think they would go really well for you. You can try anything from dwarf shrimp, a mano shrimp, to ghost shrimp in a 10-gallon tank. At size of your tank, I would recommend a different amount of each, like, each shrimp and species and things. Like, I wouldn't recommend too many amanos in a 10, maybe, like two or three also would not mix shrimp species because you can either get hybrids or they just won't like each other <laughs> and that it doesn't always go as well as you think it might 
Next, I want to go over just a few species that should not be going in a 10. First off is goldfish. Um, if you don't know why goldfish shouldn't belong in a 10 gallon, then maybe yeah, you, you should, should educate yourself on that. <laughs> And then another thing are Corydoras. They're just a bit too active for a 10. They're kind of like the neons. Like, I wouldn't recommend neons for a 10. I wouldn't recommend Corydoras for a 10. They're just equally active. Well, this is just a short guide. I wanted to thank everyone so much for watching. I'm hoping that this can bring some educational insight to a ton of people who maybe were looking for a unique first fish and from the expertise of a fish keeper. Thank you so much for getting this far. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really supports me a ton because it really helps my content get pushed out to more people. Also, feel free to add your own recommendations in the comments because this will help other people get a wider gauge of everyone's perspectives. Because I'm not always right, and while I do agree with everything that I say in this video, everyone can view things differently, and as long as, at the end of the day, your fish are healthy and your tank is healthy, it will work great for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a phenomenal day.